Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are playing with the high voltage Tesla coil again and we have a different tube. Decided to play with a smaller one uh, instead of the ceramic just because it produces less heat. Uh, we have six capacitors in the input doubler choke that goes to the anode that then goes through a capacitor into the Hartley oscillator there is a grid feedback resistor and basically goes into the tube filament I'm using a variac controlled transformer that's just uh, just a ZVS that I'm playing with and this can go straight into the filament there. Directly heated so the cathode is also grounded through these copper wires. Anyway, let's see some sparks, shall we? Variac control. I've also got a uh, power meter. It's a little bit, a bit on the big side, but it at least lets me know how many volts I'm supplying the primary of a uh, to power transformers which are connected with the 650 volt windings in series on the output. So now we've got, uh, we've made the neon illuminate and we're pulling approximately two amps, or about 160 watts I believe. Let's go up a bit more, 120, pulling three amps from the wall. All right, now the lamp is glowing considerably brighter Let's pull a spark off of there. Okay. Interestingly, power goes up to about five amps. Okay. Tube's getting a little bit warm, so I'm going to turn that down slightly. We are asking it, of course, to dissipate about in excess of 300 watts. So let's uh, let that cool down. We've got a nice industrial blower. Okay, let's uh, check the power factor. Power factor. It's about 0.7 and I can actually possibly improve that with some capacitors on the uh, on the input. Yeah, but quite high power level, that, that seems to remain constant. What are we actually doing? Yeah, 92 volts, for, well about, let's set it to 100 volts, that's 300 watts. Tube is, at this time, uh, it's getting relatively warm, but it's not, probably looks brighter on the camera than it actually is in reality. Four hundred watts. Tube moderately warm. It looks red, like I say, it looks much worse than it actually is. Let's turn that down. And that's the other... For the filament, we're giving the primary approximately 60 volts. That can do massive amounts of current, but we don't need that at this time. Um, thank you for watching.